This is Lukhabeng Primary School in Taung in the northwest province of South Africa. Masego Lebea and Valerie Mwepeng arrive at school early to prepare for the day. Masego is head of department for the foundation phase and she's planning a reading activity for her grade 2 class of children. Masego is using the book Boroto Jobu Monati for her Sitswana home language reading lesson. She's planning to introduce some new ways to the learners. So I have chosen this book, Boroto Jobu Monati, because my learners will enjoy reading this book. This book also has the phonic K, and that is the phonic I want my learners to learn today. Masoko has decided to divide the class into three groups. First, she prepares for the reading group. She identifies the words with the sound K in them, such as Kabo, as well as new words such as Boroto and Sepe Sepe. She identifies another word she thinks the learners would like, Dikaro. She writes it on the card as well. She chose these words because they have the sound k in them or because they are new vocabulary for the learners. Masiko cuts them out to make word cards. She'll use the word cards in the lesson. She'll ask learners to add them to the word wall in the classroom. Masiko explains the worksheets she has chosen for the rest of the class to do while she is busy with the reading group. I have chosen this worksheet because I want my learners to learn the phonic K. So my learners will have to start with this K, then they will come back and read the book with me. The second worksheet, my learners will be able to know the correct spelling of K. They will choose from these bubbles, which one is the right one, they will have to color the correct phonic K. Masero is well prepared for her class today. 